builder J.D. Pendleton. I'm also Chef J.D. Pendleton. Yep, I wear many hats. But today we're back. It's day eight. All the concrete has dried and we are ready to finish this because I got to get the uh, stone layers are coming in. I got to get the black paper on the walls. I got to get the Tyvek on the walls, the flashing. And I can't do that until I finish this ledge. So today I'm going to show you how to put paving brick around the base of your house to fill in that two inch gap that you're going to have. Okay? So come on, let me show you how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out our pavers. Now these pavers match, pretty much match the brick on the house, but they're just the right depth that by the time we put in the mortar, that we can bring this up to our slab, uh, concrete slab line. Now we're going to pull these back out here to the edge a little bit and then we're going to take our other pavers and we're going to run them just like this. Now this leaves us level for the door opening and then we'll come back this and we'll put another trim piece right here in front of the door casing just like this right here. Now my husband's just laid all the pavers here on top of our lip edge because remember we got to come up with six inch ledge instead of a four inch ledge and we could only get our hands on a four inch uh, ledge L block so um, heck I don't even know if they even make a six inch L block you can write me down below and let me know but I've been doing this a while I've only found eight inch L block so they do make ten inch block stone so we have to fill this in and since this is all going to be white stone on the house we like the idea of having a line of brick pavers across the front on the foundation here and then when we backfill we're going to backfill here and we're going to keep it level here with the um, with the original landscape so we're just going to come about an inch about a half an inch to an inch below this block line here now we've taken a concrete saw and we've and we showed you on the other video how we cut out the concrete block and if you crack it go back to my other video where I show you how to fix your crack block because this isn't easy to cut once the room's already been framed now we've came back in here and you've got the opening to the 8 or 10 inch blocks that you're using depending whether you're going stone or, or brick and um, here we had like I said the 10 inch wide stone so we filled this in with some of the extra concrete pieces here we just kind of threw those down inside the holes and with the landscaping stone that we had we threw that down in here and now we're just going to fill in the voids with some contractor sand okay you should already have that out there because of the uh, okay we're just going to kind of pat that and get that ready to go nice and settled. John, go ahead and give me a little bit more sand over here. I just need a couple handfuls. There you go. Okay, you can go ahead and fill in that little corner right there. There we go. That may be enough. Pull back from it. Let's see how we're doing here. There we go. We'll get that packed in there real good. I feel like a little kid playing in the sand. Okay, now we're just going to take and we're going to pat that really good again over it one more time and then we're going to brush off our extra sand we want a nice clean surface to start this uh, mortar and brick run on okay. okay our doorways prepped it's solid and it's ready to go ahead and start laying our brick okay we're going to start by laying our paving bricks down here across the L block that way when I'm setting my stones or my brick I can just sit them right down there that tells me how many I'm going to need. I know where I need to cut them. I know that I want them to look nice and even on both sides of this front door case coming in to the room addition. Let me change views here. Again, we're having a hundred and uh, some degree day. So we're hot, we're tired. And I'm just glad we're not up on that roof again today. Uh, things are going slow for us just because of the weather. We're coming out working in the mor well, we're working in the mornings and working at nights and not the afternoons. It's just too hot. Now my husband, as usual, as you see in my other videos, he's my hod carrier. He's the one that lined up all the bricks and he's uh, going to be mixing my mortar mix for me and making sure that I have mortar mix. Now I'm by no means a professional bricklayer. 
but you can see by my house and by some of the projects that we've done laying stone and the stone and stuff like that, that I'm a little above average I've laid my fair share of stone haven't I John all right like I said before you want to put your mix in on this side your water in on this side you want to pull this up you want to stand on the slope side of the wheelbarrow we're not actually using the proper um, mortar hoe for this. The mortar hoe actually has a couple of holes in it. It's a little deeper. But we have my garden hoe here at home, so that's what we use. Hold it kind of at an angle on a corner. And uh, just keep pulling it up that slope. You want to let this slake for about 5 to 10 minutes before you start using it. On a 100 degree day like this though, it's going to slake pretty quickly. But you want that chemical reaction in here. Now this is an S-type mortar and I'm not real happy with it. But we had about 10 bags of it so I'm going to go ahead and use it up. It does set pretty good like concrete. So, but man, it's a quick it's a quick crete and it sets really fast. So you can't mix up a whole wheelbarrow full. you got to be able to move this quickly. So you want to do this uh, quick crete uh, S-mortar mix. You want to mix it. It's got the sand already in it. I'm used to mixing mine. So... And I'm not used to using the quick set. So I'm going to have to move a little quicker today. Especially since it's so hot. Okay, to tell, I'm just going to use a small trowel here. And to see that this is ready, what you want to do, you just want to pick up a little bit like that. And wipe it on the edge like this and see if it sticks. If it sticks, see it's falling off a little bit. That's not good. Should, when you take it, slap it, it should stick. Okay, it's almost there. You kind of let this flake a little bit longer. And to keep this from setting up, you can just keep spraying a little bit of water on it. Especially on a hot day. There you go. See how that stuck? And it made like a mud, little mud piece there. See, it's still falling off my trowel. It shouldn't fall off my trowel. Right there we go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying stones. Keep your hands from drying out. You'll want a good pair of rubber gloves, but one that lets you breathe because, man, it's just too hot out for that. Remove any rings. We're on a job site here. Remove your jewelry. I'm just going to use my small trowel for this. You you got a big trowel, use it. Okay. This one right here is going to end with a half a piece. You want to do the half a piece here or half a piece in the middle? You tell me. Or whatever. You want two small pieces on both ends of the door. Whatever you want, honey. I can cut it when you're ready. Let's do a half a piece over here. I'm fine with that.
going to use a straight edge of a 2x4. You don't want to lay it this way. You want to lay it this way. See, we need to raise that brick up a little bit. But we want it to slope down a little bit. Just to here. Because we want that water to run off the front and down into our perimeter drain system. Okay? But we still need this tip right here to be flushed. Here's my other. Okay, so what we've done here now is we've just filled in this back section with some of the mortar and we've taken a wet trowel and just dipped it in a bucket of water and just kind of smooth it down. And you can see that this at this angle here that we've taken our board, we've got an even up here, even here, and all across here. And we want this to slope down so the water will run up underneath this door. Instead of running into the room, we want it to run out of, away from the front door. So when we sit this board straight and square, you can see we have a little bit of a gap here, okay? We're level from here to here, okay? And we're touching the back of that the stone there. See how we're touching the back of that stone? But up front, we got to rock down a little bit. Now we test every stone. Okay, just every one of them. Make sure you're sloped down instead of up. All right, and that looks good. Now what we'll do is we'll let this dry for about, oh, maybe a 30 minutes. We'll take a wire brush and we'll start brushing this off. Now we're not gonna touch that back area because our door's gonna sit on that. It's not gonna be seen from here uh, over anyway. And then we'll wire brush all that off, wipe it off and that will look really nice underneath the front door and we'll have a nice brick step coming off up here right up to it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start bricking from this side to the wall so we got our final cut up against the wall and then we're going to do the same thing on this side so we have even bricks on both sides of the door. Yes, since the bricks will be up this way you will notice it coming down this pathway. Uh, coming through this arbor so you'll be able to see those flat bricks there. And we'll get that all cleaned up, but we want those bricks even on both sides of the door. All right, we're going to go ahead and start laying brick, and we'll be right back. You just want to butter the back of this. Butter down the side like this. Just give it a tilt. We're a little high, so we're just going to stick a little stone in there. Work. I just use my fingers on this. Get it level with my lip line. I'm trying to get it level this way. I'm trying to get it level this way. And I'm going to fill in the seam just a little bit more because there we go. This isn't necessarily the way to do this. I found using my hands has been better than using even my trowel. This is a... Uh, we had 10 bags of this quick creep setting stuff. And I mean, it's just setting up as soon as I'm putting it on in this 100 degree temperatures. And that's in the shade. 
Now we'll go back and I'll wire brush this all off. Okay, so what, I've, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get this level with this because i got to bring this ledge out for that stone. So we decided to make it a decorative ledge. So, But I'm just, it's been easier for me to use my hands than it has been for the trowel. This, uh, this quick set stuff, it's, it's a nest mortar, but it's a quick crete. So I'm going to come back here at an angle here. Okay, so we have our door casing step up stones that are level with the slab blade and I've got this coming around the corner and I've got this level with the L block as you can see here we've got it straight and square this way and this way as well okay I'm just gonna keep on going and we'll be back in a minute for laying this fast, do I? Okay, I've came down this end here. We're just wire brushing it off. And doesn't that look good? Here's our steps going to go into the house. Still going to finish laying these and the rest of these and turn the corner. And we just got to finish wire brushing it. After you wire brush it, you want to take a soft brush 